Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make an explosion damage effect on player character. Uh, this is very simple logic and very simple tutorial for beginners. Here you can see three different layer of range. Uh, you can see when player is outside of the range and I shoot and make its explosion then player health have no effect But when player is inside uh, layer 1 then player have 30% of damage When player is inside layer 2 uh, then it have 50% uh, of damage And when player is inside third layer then it will die if explosion happen So let's start our work If anybody like my channel then please like and share it if anybody like my channel content then please subscribe and press the bell button if you press the bell button then you will get update when I upload any video you can also press subscribe button from my video bottom left side uh, right button right. press and create a actor blueprint uh, name it explosive 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 barrel or you can name whatever you want it doesn't matter uh, now add a cylinder you can add anything you want you can add uh, any mesh i just uh, making it uh, simple so add a box collision and uh, uh, make it uh, bigger it's our health box collision uh, now add a scene component and uh, name it uh, kill bots now add another box collision and uh, name it kill, kill box 1 now uh, duplicate it 2 time uh, and uh, make it higher like uh, 250, 250 and 250 uh, make it 500 this is kill box 2 uh, 500 and kill bots 3 should be 1000 you can add any range you want it doesn't matter i just uh, showing it on purpose so yes i compile and save now I'll go to event graph and uh, uh, get player character and from here cast your own character my character is third person character add it with uh, billion play now create a reference variable i name it uh, player now create some more variable mm, i create one boolean variable name explosion and duplicate it and name it in range one uh, another in range two another in range three Yes, our variable is done. Compile and save. So now uh, we need to create three custom event. Uh, I name it damage one, uh, damage two. I just copy the name, uh, damage two and uh, damage three. Custom variable. Yes. So I should add it with event teeth, add a sequence and uh, sequence 0, damage 1, then damage 2 and uh, then damage uh, 3. Yes, uh, compile and save. Now make it little lower. now let me check uh, yes the health bots even begin play and even end play and from other actor cast to uh, not rifle uh, rifle uh, projectile you can add any projectile you want just when it hit the bots the bots will explode so we can add a damage or other otherwise we can just destroy it it's very simple save it place it make it later higher and now aim it yes when i fire it destroy 
by the way watch my previous tutorial for understanding this project uh, but also you can use the same logic with uh, any project you want i just mention it you can check the description so i add a health uh, i create a health a health component uh, it's very simple logic when my health is zero i will die so i use it uh, player character or enemy everywhere so i add health component and i apply damage on uh, 50 and damage it to itself so get health component and uh, add uh, get health and uh, if it's less than zero add a branch press in b and left button will work it will create branch so when it's true means uh, health is less than zero then it explode and after that i add once because it's on my event teeth so uh, i spawn a meter at location so i should uh, at uh, the location get at the location and uh, i will play a sound explosion sound and i add a delay uh, 0.2 second is okay and after that destroy the actor everything is fine now add the uh, uh, explosion emitter it's very simple uh, you have it in your uh, starter content otherwise you can add it from uh, uh, from here in content starter content you will have explosion effects and sound also now let's try if i shoot uh, it will explode and show an uh, yes so now we go to explosive uh, burial and uh, now we have to add uh, more uh, pollution uh, range one variable in bots uh, kill bots one and on component begin overlap uh, make it uh, true now add uh, in range two in kill bots two and on component begin overlap make that true and end overlap it would be false uh, add in range three to uh, kill bots three and uh, it, it would be the same uh, now uh, add uh, other actor uh, cast to third person character and add uh, edit same add with uh, uh, end overlap and same with all now i make it little speedy all right it's done compile and save now add damage one so damage one damage two and damage three compile save uh, save all now we have to um, add a branch b mouse left button it would call branch or you can search now add explosion uh, and uh, explosion and in, in range uh, one mm, and add it with branch and i call it one time do once and uh, get the player player reference which we created now in here you can see our health component we have a health component in our uh, character player character if we saw my previous tutorial you will understand so i call it uh, from here uh, health component and I, I get my health and i set my health uh, now 
I add it with do once and from get health uh, I call minus minus 100 and add it with health and from my health component I again call uh, death uh, if uh, my player die death I have death in player character so copy it control C control V and add it on damage to uh, one little change here is uh, sorry it's it would be range 1 and it would be range 2 only change here is uh, variable range 2 and uh, the minus will be minus uh, 20 and on damage 3 uh, delete it because when we lose uh, when we lose only 20 we will not die so paste again and add in range 3 and uh, minus 30 and delete the death now compile and save uh, our work is done if we play we can see uh, if we destroy it from uh, uh, any distance it will hurt, our health will not effect if we go inside range 1 and destroy it we will lose 30 percent uh, when we go inside range 2 and destroy it uh, we will die uh, range 1 so that's it for today bye bye everybody